Okay, so it's time to start the next talk. Uh, next, uh, next speaker is uh, Dr. Tomoki Takahashi. The title of his talk is Anisotropic Weighted LQLR Estimate of the Ozen Semigroup in External Domains with Application to the Navier Stokes Flow Past a Rigid Body. So please. Thank you for introduction. And first of all, I would like to thank the organizers for giving me this. Uh, this opportunity to talk in this workshop. Uh, so today I talk about the Navier Stokes flow or past rigid body. So assume that a rigid body is uh, to translate with a prescribed velocity for minus a e1. And here a is positive and e1 is a unit vector in the x1 direction. And assume that the fluid occupies the outside of the rigid body uh, by taking a frame attached to the body. Uh, the fluid motion obeys the Navier stock system in a fixed exterior domain. Uh, this talk is uh, devoted to the analysis in Lubeck space with such weights. So I first briefly mention why we consider such weights. Uh, for the stationary problem, uh, the pioneer work is due to Ray, uh, who constructs a weak solution having a finite, integra uh, finite delivery integral, uh, which is called D solution or three solutions uh, without smallness assumption. Uh, from physical point of view, uh, solutions should reflect uh, the anisotropic decay structure but his solution didn't have such information. Uh, to fill this gap, Professor Finn introduced another class of solutions and succeeded in constructing a solution uh, having the following decay structure. Uh, in this figure, uh, the solution uh, in this paraboloidal region behind the body, the solutions decays like xg minus one, and the outside of this paraboloidal region, solution decays like x to g minus two. Uh, this paraboloidal region is called the weak region. Uh, he called this solution by physically reasonable solution. I simply write PR solution. And uh, this structure is described by this form. Uh, so our weight uh, is uh, our weight naturally arises in the decay structure in our problem, and the natural question is uh, such phenomena is uh, uh, such phenomena arises in the non-stationary problem. Uh, for this direction, uh, Professor Knightley first consider the anastropic uh, pointwise estimate of non-stationary solution. And uh, this decay structure was captured by Professor Mizumachi. Uh, he showed that the initial perturbation from physically reasonable solution has some special decay structure, uh, like x to the minus two. Then the non-stationary solution exhibits uh, such a decay structure for each time t. And uh, his result was improved by Professor Doring. Uh, in this talk, uh, we employ such weights uh, in the context of stability of physically reasonable solution. Uh, it is well known that uh, it is well known that physically reasonable solution does not belong to L2D. So it seems reasonable to look for a, so a non-stationary solution in a class that is uh, not in L2D. Uh, and LQ stability was uh, proved by Professor Shibata. And the key estimates were LQ LR estimates of the Osen semigroup. Uh, so we first consider anisotropic weighted LQ LR estimates of the Osen semigroup. Uh, there is less literature from concerning the Osen semigroup in weighted Rubeng space. So this issue, this issue is important itself. And as an application, we study 
stability in anastrophic weighted LQ landmark. Uh, to accomplish our purposes, uh, we use the weighted theory of Stokes resolvent problem and the Helmholtz decomposition in weighted, uh, of weighted LQ space, developed by Farwick Zoa. So let omega be the whole space or exterior domain D. And then weighted LQ space has the following Helmholtz decomposition. If the weight law belongs to the Mackenhaupt class AQ omega, uh, here LQ law omega is the weighted Lebesgue space uh, defined by this. So this norm is finite. And LQ law sigma is the uh, completion of C0 infinity sigma in the LQ law omega. And I mentioned the definition of AQR3 later. And we defined AQDE uh, by following Farbic Zoa. So we are interested in the behavior at uh, special infinity larger than near the boundary. And we find that our weight belonging to AQR3 automatically belongs to AQDE. So our first aim is to provide conditions on alpha beta so that anastropic weights belong to AQR3. And uh, our first theorem provides necessary and sufficient conditions. Uh, so we now put rho alpha beta. Then rho alpha beta belonging to AQR3 if and only if uh, beta is between minus one and q minus one, and alpha plus beta is between minus three and three times q minus one. Uh, this is the first term. And uh, in this figure, uh, alpha axis and uh, beta axis, then this region only. Uh, we note that uh, Professor Farwick proved the uh, theorem one with q equal to two, and Krachman and Watney Pokolny uh, proved that if these conditions are fulfilled, uh, rho alpha beta belongs to AQR3. Uh, but uh, it has not known whether these conditions are necessary conditions. So for the proof, uh, we rely on the definition of AQR3, uh, namely, uh, you can see that uh, this amount for all balls can be estimated by the same constant C uh, if and only if alpha beta satisfies these conditions. Uh, so I omit details due to time constraints, and uh, we next proceed to the study of all sensing group. So now, uh, given Q and uh, alpha beta satisfy these conditions and set rho as this weight, uh, in what follows, rho always denote this weight. And by our first theorem and Farbic Zoa, LQ rho omega has the Helmholtz decomposition and thus the associated bounded, proje uh, the bounded projection operator exists. Uh, we write large B. Uh, we then define the sense operator. Uh, the domain is uh, it, the intersection of W2Q rho omega, uh, which denotes the weighted W2Q space, and W01Q, uh, which is the completion of C0 infinity omega in W1Q, and the solenoidal LQ space. And a sub AU is defined by this. Uh, so if A is 0, then this coincides with uh, the Stokes, Stokes operator. And if it's positive, uh, Ocentum arises. Uh, note that by Farbic Zoa, the Stokes, Stokes semigroup is analytic in LQ rho sigma. And thus, perturbation argument implies the minus sub AA uh, generates an analytic semigroup in LQ rho sigma. Uh, that is uh, the Ocentum semigroup. So our next theorem, uh, our next aim is to derive anisotropic weighted LQR estimates of sensing group. 
Uh, so, uh, in the Lubeck space, uh, Ogashibata uh, derives uh, the following LQLR estimate uh, with the desired rate. And note that the restriction of exponent for gradient estimate comes from the estimate near the boundary of D. And we focus on the Osense semigroup in anisotropic Lubeck space, but for the stock semigroup in isotropic LQ space, a Kobashkubo derived a homogeneous LQLR estimate. So now uh, we are so, uh, give several examples. Uh, theorem two is smoothing action. Uh, given positive A0 and assume A is less than A0, and let k equal 0, uh, and qr and positive numbers alpha beta, so that the weight law belongs to the Machiavian class aq omega, aqd. Uh, then we have the following anisotropic LQLR smoothing action near the initial time, uh, with the rate, uh, with the same rate as in the big space. Uh, this is theorem and, and the next theorem is the large time behavior of the OCSM group. Uh, so, so in the assertion one, uh, let QR and non-negative numbers alpha beta uh, satisfy uh, this is a marking up to condition and the technical condition beta is less than one over three and alpha plus beta is less than one. Uh, then we have the following uh, inhomogeneous estimate. Uh, note that if f belongs to LQ law, then these three norms are finite. And if alpha equal b, beta equal zero, then this estimate coincides with the one in uh, Kobashibata. Uh, but each uh, alpha or beta is positive, then uh, this estimate is inhomogeneous. And it is not clear whether the homogeneous estimate can be obtained. Uh, so this form uh, looks uh, very complicated, uh, but uh, we make use of uh, this form in nonlinear analysis. So this form is important. And, and the assertion two and the assertion three in the next page is the gradient estimate. Uh, as already mentioned above, the restriction of exponent is uh, less than or equal to three in Lubeck space. Uh, but our theorem implies that the range of exponent can be enlarged uh, in weighted Lubeck space. So in the assertion two, uh, we assume both alpha and beta are positive. And uh, if alpha is less than two over three, the upper bound is minimum three over one minus alpha minus beta and three over one minus three alpha over two. And if alpha is greater than or equal to two over three, uh, the upper bound is three over one minus alpha minus beta. Uh, then we have uh, the following estimate. Uh, minus one half arises. Yes. Uh, this is other than three. And the other than three is uh, alpha is positive and beta equals zero. Uh, then the upper bound is three over one minus alpha and three over one minus alpha can be excluded. Uh, if A is positive, uh, we have an uh, inhomogeneous estimate. And if A equals zero, uh, it is a stock semigroup, then we have the homogeneous estimate. Uh, so uh, this estimate is uh, improvement of the one in Kobash Kubo uh, in terms of the range of exponent. Uh, so this is other show three. Yes. And uh, the next theorem is uh, improvement improvement of uh, the rate. So 
we consider now we consider this estimate. Uh, if we only see uh, the rate at large t, then the rate is uh, this. So the rate is the desired rate and the loss alpha plus beta over two. Uh, this loss is slightly improved uh, in the following theorem. Okay, theorem four. Uh, we now assume both alpha and beta are positive. And uh, if k equal one, we import the same assumption in the previous theorem. Then uh, for positive epsilon, we have the following estimate. So the rate is desired rate and epsilon plus alpha over four plus max alpha over four and beta over two. So you can see this loss is less than one in previous term. Uh, so uh, this rate is better than the one in previous term. Uh, but uh, it seems difficult to apply it to nonlinear analysis. So we use theorem uh, and theorem three in nonlinear analysis. Yes, uh, so, okay. uh, so as an application, uh, we study uh, stability of physical reason of solution in anastropic with true space. Uh, so uh, we consider the following uh, Navier-Stokes system. Uh, up to now, LQ stability and isotropic LQ stability were approved. Uh, in fact, uh, Professor Shibata and also Enomoto Shibata uh, proved that if velocity and the L3 norm of uh, initial perturbation is small, uh, there exists a uh, unique global solution UT uh, satisfy the following convergence properties. So the rate is determined by L3 LR estimate. And uh, by a different approach, isotropic LQ stability was proved by Bayro. Uh, they imports uh, L3 and isotropic LQ integrab integrability on U0 and uh, initial perturbation uh, L3 norm is small. Then they derived following space time behavior. Uh, the rate is uh, desired rate and the loss 1 plus alpha over 2 and for positive eta. Uh, but uh, there is uh, no result uh, in isotropic anisotropic with framework. So let me state the final result. Uh, by using semigroup, uh, perturbation of physical reasonable solution uh, obeys the following integral equation. Uh, this. Uh, for the space time behavior of V, uh, we have the following example. Uh, let uh, non negative numbers alpha beta uh, satisfy beta is less than 1 over 3, and alpha plus beta is less than 1. And let u0 uh, belongs to 3 rho. Uh, rho is defined by this. Uh, then there exists delta and epsilon such that uh, velocity and uh, the LC norm of initial perturbation is small. Then you can get a solution V, uh, which enjoys the following uh, space time uh, behavior. Uh, the rate is uh, determined by theorem 2 and 3. And our theorem includes L infinity estimate and gradient estimate. And uh, the loss is uh, less than one in Bero if beta equals zero. So, so now uh, I briefly mention the outline of LKR estimate of the OSI group. 
uh, which consists of uh, two steps. Uh, the first step is estimate near the boundary of D. And the important work is estimate near the boundary of D uh, with data F has uh, compact support, uh, which is called local energy decay. Uh, Kobashi Bata proved uh, this estimate. Uh, we make use of this. Uh, based on local energy decay and the LKR estimate of uh, in R3, uh, we carry out a cutoff procedure to derive estimate near the boundary of D. Uh, I uh, I mention precise statement later. And uh, step one and an isotropic weighted LQR estimate in R3 uh, are combined by cutoff technique. So uh, we carry out another cutoff procedure to derive estimate at the special infinity. So we arrive at the estimate in the exterior domain D. Okay, so, so finally uh, we provide a uh, super. Uh, this is a uh, uh, estimate uh, proportion. Uh, so we now consider both alpha and beta positive. Uh, given S, uh, which is which can be less than Q, then we have uh, the following estimate uh, with the rate minus 3 over 2 S. Uh, if S equal Q, uh, uh, if S equal Q, uh, then, uh, sorry, if alpha equal beta equal zero, then uh, Kobayashi Shibata derived this estimate with S equal Q. Uh, but uh, this proportion implies that uh, you can get a beta decay rate in weighted Lubeck space. And uh, this proportion implies that uh, the the range of exponent for gradient estimate can be enlarged. Okay, uh, I stop here. Thank you for your attention. Uh, thank you very much. Nice talk. Are uh, there any other question, comment? Uh, is there a question or a comment? No question? Okay. Okay, I have one question. So I have a question about your weight. Yes. Uh, uh, please show me uh, show me the uh, uh, theorem one, right? Yes. Ah, yes. Uh, the second term of your weight is the one plus uh, the value of x minus x one. Yes. How about the one plus x uh, one plus x minus a times x one. Ah yes, x minus a x one. Yes. Um, uh, yes. Uh, then uh, this theorem is for the one that. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Uh, I think. Um, mm, I'm not sure about. Um, I'm not sure, but uh, no, it could be possible. Now. Um, I'm not sure. Sorry. So, so, sorry, sorry. Okay, okay. Um, any other question, comment? Is okay? Okay, if not the case, thanks speak again. Thank you.